Hey, it's Greg here. This is a little uh, teaser excerpt from uh, the full interview I did with Keith Reed, author of Improving Your Soil. Uh, in this little bit, we talk about worms and what they're doing in their soil. Uh, this is going to be uh, available for download on my website, maritimeguardian.com, on April 4th. And the whole interview will be in video format on YouTube uh, the following day on the Sunday, April 5th, 2020. Hope you like it. So, you know, oftentimes when I'm out in my garden, I'm explaining what I'm doing, and I'm, I'm discussing what's going on underneath the soil. I use very vague terms, and I use very I use a lot of short term, shorthands, and I often use the term worms when I really mean the organisms that live under the soil, all of them, <laughs> right? Because um, that's the one people can see, and that's the yeah. one people. It's also the one people see as good, right? Um, so it's right. a shorthand for good organisms that people can see. But can you explain to people? What exactly, so you see the worm and the dirt goes in one end, the dirt comes out the other end, and the dirt's better when it comes out the other end. And what is the worm doing while it's doing all of that? What's, what's going in and what's coming out? And what's, what's the worm getting out of this, this dirt that's going in and out the other end? <laughs> yeah, and, and what, the, what the worm is doing is they are, they're, they're ingesting soil, but they're ingesting the organic matter. They're, they're breaking down. Uh, you know, the bigger chunks of organic matter and uh, grinding that down into to finer stuff and mixing it with the soil. Right. So, at the, you know, when, a, when an earthworm burrows through the soil and it, or eats its way through the soil, uh, it's going to be digesting uh, some of the plant residue, some of the, the old roots, uh, the bacteria and the protozoa and the fungi that are in the soil, they'll ingest some of that. Uh, they'll extract something for themselves but it's mixing the leftover organic part of that with the soil particles and what you get out at the end actually has a wonderful structure yes. uh, and it's it's leaving the soil more aerated uh it's leaving the soil uh with more available nutrients because it's, it's broken down some of the tough stuff and then left it in a form that uh, you know the nutrients can break down to forms that are you know, the plants can take up. Uh, should talk a little bit about earthworms too, because there's, there's really two main populations. Uh, there's the, uh, the smaller worms that, that uh, primarily burrow horizontally. They'll go sideways through the soil, they'll come up to the surface a bit, go back down, but they're, they're the ones that are uh, doing most of the turning over. Uh, and if you work stuff into the soil, you know, they'll, they'll go at that and they'll, they'll eat that and, and uh, incorporate leftovers into the soil. They're the, the ones, other ones, they're the ones engaging with your mulch layer, if you have a mulch layer. Uh, yeah, yeah. And they'll be sort of at, at the bottom of the mulch layer where the mulch meets the soil. Yes. Starting to pull some of that down in. Uh, the other ones are the, uh, the vertical burrowing worms. The dew worms that we call them. The night uh, crawlers. The night crawlers, <laughs> yeah. which, which they, they will have a vertical burrow that will be down three, four feet into the soil. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You know, they, and if it gets hot and dry in the summer, they'll go down to the bottom of their burrow and they'll just chill. And if it gets cold in the winter, they'll go down to the bottom of their burrow and they'll just chill. Uh, and they actually, most of the time, they will just anchor their butt in the top of their burrow and come out and they will scavenge stuff from the surface of the soil. Right. So yeah, they're, they're out, they're reaching, uh, uh, and then they'll pull that back into their burrow. Right. You know, so they'll, they'll, they'll pull, uh, leaves. You know, it's, it's funny when you see a, a corn plant with a leaf, that's the end of it's been pulled down into the burrow and the rest of it's still attached to the plant. They do that. Oh, they will do that. Yes. Oh wow! So I always thought they just came up to the surface to you know, uh, you know, get uh, get make, friendly, make some time with the ladies, <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so when you're a kid gathering, I'm like, what are they doing to each other, right? Uh, so <laughs> you're gathering for fishing and stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, but they're actually that's how, how they gather their food supply too. Really? So they do. Yeah, so they, those ones of... they will they will pull from the surface. Really. Yeah, so in your no-till garden, you'll, you'll encourage those because you've left more food on the surface for them. Right, and I guess that pathway doesn't get messed up. I mean, it's, right. it's, it's there. And I guess that pathway always also allows the water to get into your soil. Yes, yep. Um, and the porosity is sort of naturally there. Yes. Um, 
also, I mean, you said the worms are feeding on the organic matter as, as stuff's pat. How much of, of what's, what they're getting is organic matter and how much of what they're getting is the things that are feeding on the organic matter? Like the protozoa and all these different. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is, are, they, are they after the organic matter? Or are they after those things or they're just taking whatever isn't uh, mineral? They'll take, they'll take whatever. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, as far as what part of what they're eating is, is uh, living as opposed to dead. Yes. You know, uh, it's probably five or 10 percent living and 90 or 95 percent. <laughs> right. Recently so they're, dead. They're almost like, you know, when you think of a whale going through the ocean, just sort of <sighs> breathing everything yeah. in. Sort of the closest thing to a whale that we have in the, in the soil. That's so, right. 